still cleaning my restroom. It's an echo in here. There's nobody. Uh, my folks' place where I live. I've been smoking some joints recently. But like on my days off or at night before I do an exercise, you know, I have all these rambling thoughts right now about weed and but like in the human experience, I know it sounds like a pun when you hear experience, you think of like Joe Rogan experience. It's funny that I mentioned that because a couple of weeks ago I was on the internet and I was looking up, I think music. I was watching the camera road, I was watching, but Jimi Hendrix, you know, came up and when he would perform, he called it the Jimi Hendrix experience. I'm like, oh, I think Joe Rogan might've got that influence with other influences involved with individuals getting influenced by multitudes of things. But um, I was, what was I thinking? Just about weed, like, man, like it'd be cool to not have to be high. You know, and I just think about humans as a whole in our, I've been using that word experience a lot, like the human experience, like shake my head at certain things we all go through. And um, cause I, I, I could totally tend to get self-centered and I think a lot of paranoid thoughts come from the idea that the whole world is against me. And it happens to be like this. I like, dude, do we all feel this way? You know, it's a lot deeper. I don't want to get into it, but um, I'm like, yeah, man, I'll probably be, feel a lot better getting high and like doing these little chores that I've been neglecting. And, um, but, you know, smoke, like, smoking weed makes you feel like a little embarrassed. I mean, I, I just noticed the uncomfortabilities that I have, like family, like I'm not really close to them. So right now I close the door, no one's here, but I feel like I'm being heard. You know, I just think about, I don't want to, I don't feel the comfortability of speaking out loud like this to people around me. Even, I guess, even a sense of tenseness of the human, like no one's here to hurt me, you know? I'd always have these guards up. I don't want these guards, but at the same time, I don't want to be thinking so aggressively are so negatively about society, you know. So, I mean, if I smoke, I'll feel better, you know. Because, like, smoke sometimes for people, you know. Especially if it, if you find that it gets you paranoid. Kind of feel glad about that. Because imagine if we didn't get you paranoid, you might want to go do something worse or something. And I, I don't want to mistake the word for paranoid for being meaning open. Like, fuck. Just like trying to find that comfortable state of myself, you know. Weed, weed will do that to you, but it also, if you're around things and you feel vulnerable, you know, you'll, you're never going to get comfortable. You're never going to want to be around people. You know, you see that right here. And a lot of times it happens just like, fuck, is this just, I'm just going with the flow of life, you know, and I trust nobody. Just go make my money and go home, you know? And I don't know. So smoke once in a while, so I'm saying. Don't fucking not want to feel fucking just part of nature, you know? Do it once in a while. Don't do it at work, you know? I'm going to have to go to work tomorrow. Feel like an asshole. And hope that I survive. But be an asshole to the point of like, well, I'm... Little bitch, I don't want you to smack me in the face, but I also don't want you to walk all over me. But I'm just kind of going at your energy as well, hoping that you accept the things that I'm submerging, you know. But, um, you know, I find myself looking in the mirror, looking away, looking in the mirror, looking away. It's been like that forever, you know, but it feels good. It feels good right now. I feel like I want to love, you know. Like, I want to, like, like, there's another side of me, like, oh, shit. You feel me? Like, I know you understand, like, there's, like, another side of me that just wants to be jolly and cool, you know? But I don't know, is it real? Is this emotion that I'm saying real? Like, that's, it's like, oh, it's fake. I'm a narcissist. I'm a sociopath. I'm crazy, you know? But now you're like, damn, I'm just a human. Don't listen to these words, you know. Take this book I'm reading. You, it's like, you know, like you ever like realize, oh shit, that word 
was created off an action. So ability, your ability to do something, having the ability, that means like having that option that, oh, I can do that. Like I could take this step forward. I have both my feet. I could breathe again. I have this life, you know? I look, I, I look at myself right now. And do I always look like this? Like, how about just having my eyes open? Like, my eyes like this, but like a whale's tail that's just curled, you know? You know, like those Shamu whales? They're called killer whales. There's a scientific name. But you, would, you wouldn't realize, oh shit, when they're out in the open, they have their fucking fin up. They're not all like curled. Or like, I don't know. But is it okay having the security? Feeling secure like this? That everything seems to be safe, but within those guidelines of like, you know, be a human. But I, I waver off like this because I don't want to sound pitiful and I don't want to go back to these thoughts of blaming and complaining or nothing like that. You know? Because I think we live in a civil society, you know? shoes what's up with these shoes i want to wear them to work but i'm like oh, i wear them because in the end materialism doesn't matter but things look cool right in the artsy form like i, I bought some shoes when i like for gym to play basketball and usually i'll get like a, a shoe that's made like probably lighter now a more modern shoe the last time I started playing basketball, I was like, I want to get some J's. And that's when I realized, like, in the store, they don't really sell a lot of, like, popular brands in store. They usually have, like, uh, a red, like, a remix of it or a special edition. But not, like, the ones that were popular from years back, you know. So when I went to the, uh, I think it was a Foot Locker. I think I might have made a vlog that day. I wore these once outdoors, I think. I'm sure they have versions of this, like, in a, you know, the style, like a wrestling shoe or a, a boxer shoe. You know, they make football cleats. The first person I used to remember, because I was a Raider fan, I'm sure other players, I was a little kid, I didn't know about other teams that much. That Like, Charles Woodson used to wear the uh, Michael Jordan style. Shout out my cousin Vinny. He gave me these shoes one day. I think he was just being kind. But he, they also had a rip on them, so he was wearing them outdoor. He's like, man, they got a rip, but you know, at nighttime at a party. Be a good conversation starter. Most people that look at you from far, they see your shoes, and then that's like, okay, that person seems like somebody that I could talk to. And then that shoe is just like a conversation opener, you know? But anyway, so I wanted to clean some. There's times I do want to go ball up. Just to have fun. Like a, um, when you look back in time. I gotta, I gotta do this little chore before my high goes away. I don't know. Again, I only feel comfortable because I feel like I'm talking to somebody. I'm a poor listener. Horrible, because I just want to talk. Feels good to talk, right? It's okay. Just don't get offended. Like, no, if you're, you should go have a conversation with somebody and just talk and really uh, fucking um, just go out and have a conversation with somebody and learn, like, learn to just understand what conversation is and how this is a part of life. Life isn't always just being alone. Fucking, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is, actually. It's not a group thing, you know? Life isn't about groups. It's about everybody within a group. And the groups run off respect. You know? But it's like, fuck, and that shit seems so... Don't you seem so un uneducated in that field? That field of life? And, um, it's... Uh, 
it's a it's about right now is a healthy environment and if things just kind of waver off that positive emotions positive thought that the future is important to keep going is important um yeah i don't know don't be so hard on yourself If I want to wear these shoes anymore, like just to wear them to work, I could actually clean them and go out with them. Who knows? The fuck does it matter? If it's not clean shoes, or if they are clean, or if I go out or don't go out, or if there's people in other countries that have fucked up shoes, but they're super fucking grateful. I mean, there's people with nice shoes that are super grateful. And there's People in nice shoes are really bad, just like there's really people in shitty shoes that are also very bad. Like the energy to acquire a lot. It's crazy energy, isn't it? But um, I guess it's necessary. I'm just trying to be heard, it sounds smart. Oh, man, I'm just trying to be cool. Be loved in an artificial way, I guess. Anyway, it's okay to smoke. Like I said, it's gonna wave her off. I'm gonna go back to my my mask. I'm really not a bad person, but you just look that way. Or you just have to put that wall up and be that way. Um, just pray. You know, even if you're like, God, I'm going to pray for me. Nothing might even happen. Who knows? Who cares? Nothing will change within myself. But I pray for the betterment of other people. If you are real, use my prayers for other people. You know, for my daughter. You know, for her mother to love herself. I was even thinking about that. If you're young, you don't have to. I know you're still young, even though you're still like, a lot of it is being young and not experiencing life and realizing there's no sense in fighting. There's no sense in like if, if like th like there's no sense in me meaning like if you're in a relationship it's like you have makeup to break up it's probably it's the way you you, res you respond your ability to respond back to that word that had a double meaning re the, your your ability to respond responsibility I love learning those little like golden nuggets that I can keep in my pocket you're like hey do you know these two words mean this like isn't that weird how it makes sense and it language is created off our character responsibility your ability to respond response and ability and that book is amazing and read it and keep going man like there's also a sense of where like if somebody you might have a grievance with is doing something or is motivating you to do something that's how I, nah, I just won't do it why, why? You, know, you have that in the back of your mind or maybe it's, 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 it's a weird thing but I just thought about it right now I like I understand how it works because I don't know I say a lot of dumb stuff you know, amidst of other stuff that might be good or might sound true maybe I use my mind too much but, um, yeah just do it anyway screw the negativity you no know? because the positivity would say well, that person was trying to help. Or, yeah, I mean, maybe that's their way of just saying that's what they were doing. Or that's their way of living their life. And I heard it yesterday, again, from fucking Joe Rogan. Who doesn't watch that guy? A dope little saying. I don't know, I'm just, I feel like the culture stuff could be a little corny. But if we're so tied into the internet, we're going to get fed certain information. But... I think, I think things clean up after a while once you start getting healthier. And, um, I think that's the way life works. And back, oh, he said something about a big tide brings in the boats. Like, if some other person reaches success, it should make, it's gonna make it better for society. 
success in getting healthier, success in, I'm not sure, but if they, what it means is there's enough, you know what I mean? Everybody could have their own boat, but there's enough for everybody, you know? So, so meaning that's just positive thinking. I think, oh, they're trying to take from me, or oh, again, see it, the, see it a good positive light, like, okay, I can do it too, or yeah, be honest, be like, yeah, I got motivated. I, I learned, I, I learned that from like the Joe Rogan podcast. Be honest, give credit to where it's due in a sense, like, oh, that's what kind of motiv that's what motivated me. But knowing that's not the only thing that motivates you, that's not the only thing that oh, that one person is the say all, be all, be all, say all. You know, goes back to a lot of people afraid of conversations because of showing that vulnerability. Like, oh, I'm not used to having to wait for somebody else to be done talking. You know, well, we're not used to being close and connected like this and trusting that well, if I speak over you, I'm not trying to take nothing from you. You know, that sensitivity, like, man, everybody has relations to everybody. You know, there's people that will understand you. It's always going to be part of the internet is expressing yourself so you could kind of be learned and heard. Stuff, I don't know. It's a tool. As equal as anything, it could be a negative. It's a, I was going to say it's a tool far more than it is a weapon. But tools, you know, so, uh, fucking tools are very durable, you know. Are they cool with my fucking tattoo? Yeah. Like I woke up with like, what am I gonna do? I gotta either buy something. I'm gonna go work out. How am I gonna work out? What am I gonna do? Like, you know, I just fucking smoke a little joint and I feel decent right now. at least do it after work don't do it go to work first before you smoke that day it's a little day by day you know moment by moment so go to work and at the end smoke when you're out of work you go for a late night walk or you can even just if you're so fucking paranoid like me just go fucking exercise in the dark in a corner where you could see people coming <laughs> just get yourself knowing that i'm gonna go through this fucking self-reflection that's gonna make me fucking scared of authority Scared of the system that's in place, you know, scared of oh, civility, scared of, oh shit, these emotions that I have, or, or these reflections, or these corrections, or these fucking failures in the past that, you know, but shit, give yourself credit, calm the fuck down, stretch, try to avoid that initial fucking super, you want to curl up in a fetus and feel like the world's collapsing on you, and, um, just fucking, so the next day, like, okay, I, I didn't give up, even in, in when I was paranoid out the marijuana, I fucking think, don't, I was reflecting on, oh shit, how I treated a coworker today, or how I was treating my wife, or my, whatever, my boyfriend, and it's a unisex conversation, so you go back, you know, oh, I'm not gonna go back home, I'm gonna leave him, which I'm such a bad person, I'd rather just be alone and get into a divorce because I'm so, so shitty or something, or separate myself because I'm so shitty, or, or not go back to work, because like, if I'm gonna go back to work, and be super fucking anxious, because, you know, say, say, okay, I'm going to get through this shit. I went to work today. I might have been even worse yesterday. I went to work today and nothing happened to me. I got home safe. I'm going to try to change your attitude tomorrow a little bit. Okay. Oh, shit, I didn't feel too bad. You know, so, and you're just, you're going to enjoy it. Enjoy how you fucking overcame that super sense of self-reflection. And then you uh, realize your life still. Just try to do better. Anyway. And I'm gonna hang up this phone and probably be a shitty person right now. Or just be isolated or put as he's or something. Now I'm gonna hang 
is a, I feel artificial.